I am Dr. Elizabeth Samantha Rothschild Judge. And my question is, who does anything about these things? So I've complained and everything, we all know, blah, 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 wham, poor me, the whole stalking and harassment, that I've dealt with that from people following me around and people working at the places where I'm supposed to be because of my situation. And, and all the complaints and all the public, potus, public notices, the posts, the police reports, the grievances, the occurrence reports, the incident reports, the activity is ongoing. So I'm wondering, why does anybody think that I'm supposed to do something about it? Like I'm supposed to come and command the police to go in, throw people down on their faces, or call down federal guard worship to uh, deplore the people or whatever, the criminal activity. When I'm saying that's not my job. If it were my job, I would know what to do about it, and I would do it in all immediacy. Now, here's the kicker. Whoever's job it is, they know exactly what to do, and they're doing it. They just need me to be patient and out of their way so they could get to the bottom of things once and for all. So why would people keep doing the same dumb stuff when they know that it's under investigation or that it's being addressed. The leniency, the moderation of giving opportunity to cease and desist. Waiting on me to do something about it. That's not my job. And I say that in the best manners, in the best of light, because if it were my job, I would be, as I said, proactive and go ahead and just do something about it. See, I know what I want to do about it, but that doesn't make it the right thing to do about it. Because, I mean, how would I know that's not my job? Those whose job it is, they know what they're doing. They're addressing the situation, however long it may be taking in some areas and aspects of the situation. They know their jobs. They know exactly what to do. And I have every faith in God that that's what's going on. They're doing their jobs. Me... I'm respecting people doing their jobs because I need my job tasks and activity respected for what I do. So I'm out of the way and I'm being patient. I'm not pressing any issues about someone going ahead and doing something about it. So for as much as anyone wants to know what are they going to do about it, well... They, of whom you are thinking, want to know, when are you going to stop? It's incessant. And I'm not the only one dealing with this. This is a problem in more than one area. And more than one person. I'm not the only leader in America. And I'm not the only person who's a public figure or a government official. Who works at this capacity for their own personal service. Okay, so just to put that out there, because I got frustrated a minute ago and I was like, when is this going to stop? I'm assured by the powers that be that everything is being done properly with regard to completely absolve the situation, not just fix it a little bit, not just do a little something about it and then wait for it to happen again to make sure it never happens again to anybody and I am at peace with that so if anybody's wondering the same thing like me when I got frustrated <laughs> whose job is it everybody will soon find out but that's the point where the powers that be are trying to give way for each person to consider their own citizenship and to cease and desist because they're not getting anything out of it. I'll not be pressed into fraud. I'm not going to the federal penitentiary for nobody. I don't care about the entrapments and everything because I can explain. I know how to open my mouth justifiably and make judgment and rule because I am a judge. So whoever's jurisprudence this falls in, whosever jurisdiction this falls in, they're doing something about it. And I just say, let God's will be done.
And there you have it. You all have a blessed evening.